But what happens with the water when you've used it? In going about our everyday lives, we use a lot of water for drinking, washing, cooking, going to the toilet, and much more. By using this water, it becomes polluted. The wastewater we produce is known as sewage. Sewage not only comes from our homes, but is also produced by offices, shops, factories, and other industries. Together with rainwater that runs off roofs and roads, sewage is washed, flushed, or drained into sewers. The underground network of sewers that collect all this wastewater and transports it to the sewage works is known as the sewerage system, and the area it drains is the catchment area. Let's look now at the sewage treatment process. At the sewage treatment works, the incoming waste passes through screens which remove large pieces of debris, such as plastic, paper, and cloth. The liquid then flows through a number of channels which take out any grit washed in from roads. The sewage is then passed forward to large tanks. Here, fine particles sink to the bottom and form a sludge, which is regularly removed and further treated. Here, we use bacteria to clean up the liquid sewage. The bacteria help purify the liquid by actively feeding on it and turning most of it into carbon dioxide, water, and nitrogen. In biological filters, we encourage bacteria to grow in deep beds of irregularly shaped stones. Gaps between the stones circulate air, which lets the bacteria breathe and thrive as the liquid passes through them. An alternative to biological filters is a process called activated sludge, where air is bubbled through the sewage to encourage bacteriological growth. The air can then be pumped or entrained from the surface by rotating paddles. Either way, once the bacteria have done their work, the liquid goes into further settling tanks to remove the remaining particles, leaving clean water to flow to the river or, if necessary, onward to further treatment. To meet increasingly stringent standards, the cleaned water is often put through a further filtration process. Sometimes shallow gravel beds are used to filter out any fine particles. Alternatively, beds of reeds can also be used to give a final polish to the cleaned water before its return to the environment. This method is particularly useful in rural locations.